what's up everybody i am back again with another video and today we be going on uh, going on a different reaction let me read the title real quick on the set a mother arrested for leaving kids in the car twice in one week while drunk at a bar yo this is this is not gonna look good so y'all know to do like comment subscribe Turn on the notifications and make sure you don't make sure um make sure you don't miss another video and let's get into this video. Guys, my husband's seen I'm here, so we came. I came to yeah. check on the window. And the door wasn't like we opened the door. Sure. Is it about across the street? Okay. okay, what does she look like? Yeah, three North Star Street. Is this your vehicle? Okay, so what are they doing in the car over here? Uh, I'm visiting my sister. So how long have the boys been in the car? Not even <laughs> 10 minutes, sir. Oh, they're in the back of a car. She went inside the bar and drank two two beers and left her kids in the car. My okay. vehicle does not start. I already have an open investigation. I'm not a bad person. Do me a favor. This is one story you'll probably never forget. On July 15th, 2022, officers were alerted to a vehicle that had been parked in a small neighborhood for over an hour. A concerned member of the community wanted to make sure everything was okay, as she mentioned hearing crying noises coming from the car. As she got closer to the vehicle, she was shocked she noticed two small children inside with no air conditioning and no adult supervision. She immediately dialed 911, fearing that the kids were in danger. Hello. Hello. Okay, you called us? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. My husband's seen I'm in there, so we came, I came to yeah. check on the window. And the door wasn't like we opened the door. Okay. But okay. the windows are all shut. Have you seen this vehicle before? Or? No. Okay. That's why I came to knock on my neighbor's house yeah. to see like if it was up here. Okay. She okay. said no that she doesn't know where the car. So okay. I'm guessing it's across the street. Probably at the bar. Here I don't think it's the neighbor's here. Okay. okay. What's up guys? Oh. Right across the street, the bar. Okay. The neighbor gave officers a tip that the mother of the children might be at the bar across the street while her kids were in the car. But this was only the beginning, as things would get extremely worse for the mom. Did you, uh, hi. Hello. hi, did you see her going to the bar? Oh, she came to my door, came inside to see my daughter, and I shut the door because I know how she could be. Okay. And okay. that was her car, and I usually shut my door afterwards. Okay. And okay. she went across to the bar, and that's where she is. Do you know about what time? Oh, about a good half hour. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. What's the, I didn't do you, know she had the kids. Do you know her name? Do you know her name? Okay. I don't want to be involved. Okay. I, I okay. No, I got you. Yeah, yeah, no, we appreciate it. She asked me if I knew. She's not here. I was embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. okay. It does look I can like they contact you. Yeah. Them. I have, I'm going to call them. And yeah. I have their info. No. These are your nephews, though? Your nephews, you said? Those are my nephews. Okay. But I couldn't okay. take them. No, I understand. No, we understand. No, I got okay. you. I have surgeries coming up. Sure. She's in the bar across the street. Okay. okay. What does she look like? Yeah. What's she wearing today? Central 2243. Huh? Be advised that uh, the female uh, driver owner of this vehicle is a kid. Break. She's supposedly over at the uh, bar at the Crow's Nest over here. If you set a supervisor, please. Charles, one from Central. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Charles, one. Some wire or something, kids? Hello. Request a supervisor, 1403 North Star Street. Is this your vehicle? My husband. Your husband's? Yes. Okay. So, these are your your boys? They are. Okay. How old are they? They're. Okay. So, what are they doing in the car over here? Uh, I'm visiting my sister. You're visiting your sister? Yes. Okay. All right. What you... them or uh, they, them? They're fine right now. Okay, I want to talk to you a minute. Yeah, another problem. One of my... Okay. And he's in the bar. I just don't want to issue. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah. Come on. Okay. You're okay. Hello, buddy. 
Hey, uh, it's all right. Over. You can stay. He's good. You okay, buddy? Um, you need some water? You want something to drink? No, he's fine. Okay. So it's not a 924 Kelly reference. It's a blister complaint. Something saying a female is back, a male is back. Okay, hey, hey, I'm talking to you, okay? Come over here. Come over here. I'm talking. So, what time did you come over here that you're visiting your sister? About 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago? Okay. And you were over here at the process? Yeah, me and my husband is over there, and I'm visiting my sister. Okay, I... Look, I'm talking to you. Don't pay attention to her. No, of course not. Of course not. Okay. I'm, I'm an, an adult. I understand that. Okay. So I just came... Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had to pause that shit, but no parent, but no type of parent should be leaving their kids in a hot ass car with no fucking ac that's like that's fucking crazy while drunk while drunk like while you're drinking at a bar you got responsibility if you got kids like for real see you see this is the reason why most parents should be not leaving their kids in a hot vehicle and there's no ac never do that Parents should never do that. Their mother should be arrested and she needs to stop drinking and start thinking about her kids, not herself. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is terrible. Like, I'm going to say this right now. We we live in an evil world that just that people who who doesn't have no control of drinking or smoking or something like that. Whatever it depends on. That's what I'm saying. Let's get back into it. So, sir, I have a link card. Okay. I'm going to give her my link card. Okay. I sold her my link card. Okay. I get groceries on my link. Okay. And my husband is in the bar. Okay. So, I just went over there. Hopefully, he's not talking to other women. Okay. So, how... How long have the boys been in the car? Not even 10 minutes, sir. Well, you've been here for 20? Not even 20. Well, you you just told me you were in the bar for 20. Right, but not even 20. I gave my sister a link card. I sold my sister the link card. Okay, so why would you leave? Let me ask you this. Why would you leave your boys unattended in the car? I'm not, I wasn't trying to leave them unattended. I sold my sister a link card to help her with groceries for her family. So, what do you mean? What do you mean you didn't so, leave them unattended here? I, I did leave them. I agree with you. I left them unattended to give my sister a link card. Okay, how much did you have to drink groceries. today? I haven't had anything to drink. You haven't had anything to drink? No. Because it's very hard for me to deal with them by myself. And my sister should know that. Okay. So, what I, <clears throat> what I don't understand, though, is why you'd leave the boys in the car if you're going and doing other things. I wasn't doing any other things. I was checking on my boyfriend that was in the bar to make sure he wasn't talking to other women. Okay, well that's not what I'm being told. Okay. You're being told what she told you, that I left my kids in the car. My sister lives right Okay, there. I'm not worried about her, okay? So she what called because told? I'm not gonna tell you what I was told. Okay, I was that's told- that's fine. You don't listen. have to. You don't have to. Okay, so. <clears throat> How much did you have to drink? I have nothing. Okay, well, what are you on then? I'm not on anything, sir. Okay. Not on anything. I was in a very severe car accident. And when was that? About six months ago. Year, year. Okay. I was hit by a car. I'm asking. You don't sir, want... I'm not on anything. I don't have any drinks okay, in well, my you car. Just... Listen, ma'am. Okay, I'm just having a conversation That's with fine. you. That's fine, and I'm being, I'm being cooperative. Yeah, okay, because your behavior is telling me that... My behavior is you telling you why. I've answered every question. <clears throat> Alright, hang on with my partner one sec, yeah, okay? No, He's no, going to no, talk no. to you here. You don't even know... My mm -hmm. I asked... Yeah. You wiped her in my sister's house. Yeah. Are you... So what, you, you want to go in your sister's house my and, son, and, and change my your son? son father. Listen, okay. that's fine. Okay. I'm going to be quiet. I know how to deal with, sir, my son. Yeah. My son's father, we've been having problems. Okay. I came over here, I sold my link card. I, mm -hmm. My statement has not. Right. I just want to change. My only, 
Yes, sure. I get it. Okay. I get it. I, just I understand need to why her. you want to change your son. What I don't understand is why you left two two kids in a car unattended. That's that's I my didn't though. Issue. I didn't though. I baby bag. The baby wipes are in her house. Okay. And where did you come up? Well, but why? But why are they still in the car? Look, I'm explaining about this situation. Explaining about this situation, right? First of all, this first of all, that woman then had no business leaving these kids in the car without no AC. If she would have took the kids to her sister's house, they would be fine. But just don't leave them in the car. You know, men, you know, you as a type of parent can get arrested, can get arrested for leaving their kids <laughs> inside of a vehicle. It's not even because, like, I'm gonna say this to you, like, this is a new law. Parents can get arrested, like, for not taking their kids to school, or, 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 or leaving them in the car when unattended without an AC. Like, that's my stop. Like, I will never do that. If I have, because when I have kids in my future, I'm not leaving them in the car by themselves. Because number one, because that's a rule right there. You, you like, I'm gonna say this too. If parents out there who got cars, do not leave them in there. Take them somewhere. As I say, ask, ask one of your, one of your family members to watch your kids and while you out there hanging out with your little friends or going to a bar across the street. It doesn't matter. It's, it's still a law that means you cannot leave your kids unattended. You can't. I'm out of when we got here. Across the street. <laughs> Sergeant. No! So you were in the bar. And your kids Checking were alone in the car. Checking on my baby daddy that doesn't pay me child support. Okay, here, here, here's the thing. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. It, it, That's fine. It, Honestly, goes cool. a long way. This is not cool. Okay. okay you want to go I change your that. son? Go change your son. Come right back out here. Okay. Okay? So, Hi. So, you want to go change him? I will. So, are we going to have a... I, I, I don't... I haven't made up my mind what we're okay, going to do sir. here yet. Okay, I, I'm sir. still working on that. It, it could be as simple as a compliance date. Either way, DCF, okay, either way DCFS gonna... has to be notified. That's fine. Because, and That's fine. <laughs> I could smell alcohol coming off your breath. I'm, I'm not comfortable with you driving. No! Oh, I'm right here. Okay. Well, right here? Okay. Yeah, right. this is my sister's house. Okay. Go ahead and go change your son, Okay, please. I will. You want to take the other one with you, too, so yeah, he's not sitting in the car? Yeah, but I have to do one again? at a time. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I did not go. 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 Here, ma'am, come over here so I can talk to you. Yeah, no problem. All right, so where, where's your... This is your boyfriend or your child's My father? My fiance. He's across the street. Okay. Across. okay. All right, go ahead, put your hands behind your back for me. We'll hold an air phone for you. All right, you're being placed under arrest for endangering life of a child. So where are my kids supposed to go? Can my sister take my kids? We're, we're going to discuss that. We'll All let right, you know. can I talk to her? She no, come on. Fine. Let's see if they have you here. That's the 22. Hey. 22. Boy, it costs you a day for your life to turn up. Yeah, for sure it's so much. Like a 23 on two. All right, Kimberly, are, are you going to let me answer your questions? Yes, yes I'm not okay. trying to be rude. So, well, just let me finish. I'll listen to you, okay? Let me say my piece. This is a little lot for me. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me this speak. This is a lot to endure. Okay. As a person. Okay. You guys got me for child endangerment. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer your questions, okay? Of course. Of so course. stop talking over me, I please. I will stop talking. Okay, thank you. So here's what's gonna happen, okay? Are your keys in, the, in your purse? Correct. Okay, all right. So if you're okay with it, the children are gonna be released to your sister here. That's okay. your sister, correct? Okay, and then from there, they'll be released to, uh, is that your child's father that's getting yes. off work? Yes, he doesn't get off till 2.30. Okay, so he'll be, they'll be released to him okay. after that, okay? 
per your sister. So hear me out on this, okay? This is a misdemeanor offense. Okay. Okay. All right. As long as you remain cooperative. I will. Okay. I, I'm just ex let me explain my piece, okay? Sir, I didn't do anything wrong. I just gave my sister. The okay. Well, we we already discussed this, okay? Because she closed the door on me you, because I didn't listen. give her the amount okay. of money. All right. You can sit tight then. You might think this would be the end of the story as her children were quickly released to her the same day after she bonded out of jail. Within a few hours, her children were back in her care. However, just two weeks later, she was arrested again for the exact same thing, leaving her kids in the car while she got drunk at the bar. Sergeant Williams, so we got one uh, because of a child endangerment. Um, so, so, and she, we still have two kids here. They do have car seats. Um, no, they're in the back of a car. She's been arrested for this before. Oh my God! I can't believe that. No, I can't but not the. I cannot believe this woman leaving her kids in a car. You just, so you. I can't like what type of parent who leaves that car, who leaves their kids, like in a car. And, and they do got their car, they are in their car seats, but guess, guess what? This is her second time getting arrested. When is she going to learn to stop, to stop the going places that she can't even, because like, I'm going to say this to you. The officer really did smell her breath and found that she was lying. Found that she lied to the police officer. She, she lied to the police officer. She did it again. I don't know when this woman is going to learn how. When, stop leaving your kids in the car because you can go to the bar so you can get drunk. Man, that's crazy. See, that's the second time. See, this mother don't see even including the mother, even the baby father. They don't. They don't even deserve these. Don't like. <clears throat> I'm gonna let y'all know this. People on this earth and people got drunken problems and they got issues. That nobody doesn't deserve to have children. Period. I'm just saying. That's crazy. All right. So again, I'm let you. This, this this is up to you. Okay. Okay. The more you be honest with us. I understand that. So, I right. I am gonna be so, honest. Had two people inside of there said they served you, and even the bartender. They Nobody served, served me, sir. I asked for a jump. The guy was trying to hit on me. He offered me a drink. I declined. Okay, my fiance comes here a lot. Uh -huh. Okay, I I declined that. They okay. wouldn't have said they served you if someone bought you a drink. That's but sir, you paid for it. I didn't pay for that. He offered it. I was coming in here for a jump. My fiance is well aware of where I'm at right now. If you guys could just call him, my okay. vehicle does not start. I already have an open investigation, uh -huh. sir. I don't want any, I just, I don't want problems. I'm not a bad person. Are you good I with know. 95 for now, I'm putting back my car. Yeah. Okay, Kim. You're not a bad person. I know, I know you're not a bad person, but you got a drinking problem, sweetheart. You just got a drinking problem and you need to stop drinking because it's not good for your health. Do me a favor. Okay. Yep. I'm taking this off. Not a problem. And then once we, we can. I'll show you step over here. So can I at least call my fiance? My phone died out. Well, we can. Right now you're just being saying, okay, you're not. That's fine. But my fiance is at work. I don't have nobody to come get my kids. What, what, what Did you just say sister? you're waiting on your cousin? On center screen, No. Oh, that that's my sister. Okay. My sister's in the process of moving. Just... Ra Ms. Sir, please. My fiance's at work. Can I please call him? My phone died out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to double lock him, okay? Please. He's at Man. work. Hold on. Okay. Sir, I... I'm gonna be. Kim, we're trying. I, we're still investigating. We're trying to. That's we're trying fine. to have you help yourself. Okay? Do you have anything on you? Like, I do not. I don't have weapons. I don't have drugs. I don't have anything. My truck doesn't start. My fiance gets off of work. In Thirty minutes. He was gonna meet me here. 
Okay. Where's your fiance work at? He works. He works. Where, where's your fiance work? He's working at a warehouse. Which one? Mr. Robinson, can you please, sir, please? I don't it? got nobody to pick up my kids. Hold on. It's going to be this necessary. Just lie to the police because... I apologize. Well, sir, I apologize. Kim, Kim, when he left to go back in the bar, he said, I'll give you a chance to be honest. Yeah. You work there and you said, yeah. Okay, and then I, I said, he I already confirmed he doesn't. I apologize. All right. so Mr. What, Robinson, what, 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 I apologize. I got two kids. What, what, as we know, um, what's up? I have nobody to pick Is up this my this an iPhone? Or... No, it's Yeah. I have an iPhone. And this is Officer Robinson with the Joliet Police Department. Um, all right, do, do you know? Okay. Huh. She's with your what? Your yeah, spouse. Okay. So did did she call you at all today? Okay. You, you, you said she sent you what? She sent a text earlier. She sent you a text earlier. That, so the the reason why I'm calling is because she's saying that she called you and said that that she needed a, you know a jump because her car it won't start. Did, did she, you speak to her regarding that? Uh, earlier, but I'm I'm at work right now. Uh, well, what time what time do you get off? Okay. All right. Because the the issue is right now is that we got a call that there was two kids left in the car um, by a bar over here on Hickory Street, 1100 block of Hickory Street. And when when we got here, we seen two kids in the car, and she was coming out of the bar. Yeah. Okay. All right, sir. All right, that, uh, you know, that's... Yeah, well, she's going to be uh, getting arrested. Do you have somebody who can come pick the kids up? Okay, well, actually, what, what you can do is, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a call back. You can probably come down to the police station and uh, pick them up. Just, you know, give, give us your name and stuff like that. Because uh, she's going to be getting arrested today. Uh, and then we'll see. You know, but if, if you can come down to the police station and pick them up, that would be great. Yep, and um, you, you, yeah, so if you have any, any questions, come, I will call you back in a couple minutes once we get everything done. Okay. All right, thanks, sir. Yep. All right. So, I talked to him. Okay. He didn't know nothing about the car breaking down or, or jumping, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, right now, you can be in custody for child and danger, okay? The back of my squad, okay? So what about making her? Uh, you know, I'm going to call our sergeant. We're going to deal with that, okay? You just can't come and get them? He is. He is. Well, we'll probably have to take them down. Yeah, we'll probably take them to limited custody, and then we'll pick them up at the police station. Yeah. Okay. Who, is, is, is Charles one is over this, right? Charles uh, yeah, because it's uh, Williams. So um, we just can't right wait here until he gets here? My that, that's on the way, okay? So why did I call my sergeant? I know, but dad's on the way to okay. pick well, him up. The, in the meantime, you're already under arrest for okay. talking to okay? okay. so. I'm letting know. Send your cover. Okay. We should want a custody for uh, child endangerment. One in custody for child endangerment in 2205. Charles, one copy. Regret, Mom. 11 or 1 North Hickory. Sarge, he wants, he just wants one of us to stand by. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, with, with, with them. Um, so I, I can do our email, however you want to yeah. do it. Yeah, I'll take her down. Okay. You want to do the two juvenile contact forms and then just hand them the bed? Or, uh... Yeah, so, um... Yeah. I'm gonna... So I'm gonna pull around. Yeah, because I need to get the, um... 
Like you it, it was two bartenders said that they both served them? I'm sorry? Yeah. You said two bartenders said they served them? No, so the, um, the, the bar owner called. Yeah, okay. It's because she's she done this in, in the past. Yeah, that's okay. And then I spoke to one, I spoke to the, uh, the, the girl who actually served them, and she came to town and she identified, like, yes, that's the girl I served Can you, she, she, she had yeah. two coronas. I'll wait here for now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Robinson. Yes, I just, my son, okay. I, I understand that the sergeant, can you please wait for my boyfriend to come here? So, uh, our plan is for him to have please. him him come here and come please, with the kids. Please, because my son will not. He will. He okay. will throw his head back. Yeah. I know how this all looks. I'm. I'm. Res I take responsibility for my actions, sir. Yeah. Okay. I, I get, get it. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, please don't let my my babies just let them go with their daddy. Well, okay? clear. I'll be on the floor. Are you guys gonna arrest me? You are in custody, yeah. So I'm gonna go down the station. Oh, uh, I don't know. We have to review all that stuff. Sir, please. So, okay. Sir, let me, please. Let me, can, please. I, can I just explain something to you right, right quick? I understand. Can I, can, are you gonna keep talking? Can you give me a chance? Can I just, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so, can, can, I'm I, gonna can, listen. I, can I explain something to you? Yes. So, when you're in custody, all right? We try to do an investigation before because we were pressing okay? it. We, so further along talking about this case, I, we have to read you your Miranda rights. Okay? This officer who's going to transport you down to the jail is going to do that. Okay? So as far as the case, we can't talk no more about it until we read you your Miranda rights. Understand? So I'm going to be placed for a child in name. Yes, you are in custody for a child in name. Sit back, relax, and uh, wait for this officer. Awesome. Good deal. All right. Uh, let me know, yell if you need. Uh, you want to run out the window a little bit? Oh, that won't work. Uh, yeah, let, let me know if you. That's not that. Yeah. The mother was taken into custody, where she shed crocodile tears and begged officers to release her. She was bonded out the next day. According to court transcripts, it's confidential whether she lost custody of her kids. What we do know is that she was given probation for her crime. Now answer this question. Do you think the mother truly felt sorry for leaving her kids in the car? And do you think this could potentially happen a third time? Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all, but this woman have learned her lesson. And I'm going to say this. Parents should not leave their kids to go to a bar to get drunk. If you got if you got responsibilities and you got two kids living in the car, cause guess what? That's this woman's already fucked up her life up. And now and now, and now she ain't got no responsibilities for, like for getting her kids. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is what people mess up mess up their life up for nothing. Alright everybody, I'm gonna thank y'all guys for watching this video. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications and make sure you don't <laughs> miss another video. And I will see y'all guys in the next time video. Peace.